Hi, welcome to the Two J's in the Knee. I'm Joel on here with Jackson Waltman and Emerson Wang. We're going to talk about two topics. The some bad teams becoming good and players coming off some really some season ending injuries and who will be the best. So to start off, um, some bad teams that my bad team that is becoming good is the uh, Denver Broncos. They should really struggle last season. They were not very. They did not uh, come up big on the offensive side. They would not gain yardage and score many touchdowns. But their defense was outstanding. Also picking up Bradley Chubb, one of the combine's most uh, watched defensive end. I really think that he will help their defense. Jack, who's um, I'm going to say the New York Giants. Um, I'm not trying to be biased, but yeah. I think they were 3-13 last year. Everybody yeah. thought they made the playoffs last year. They went 11-5. They won the division, and they lost to the Packers, yes, but they had to go play in Lambeau. Yeah. That's tough. Everybody thought they'd be good this year, but, you know, Disappointed. I think it was just because of Ben McAdoo. He was not yeah. a good coach. You know, added Pat Shermer, offensive coordinator for the Vikings. He's a very good coach. You know, they draft. They took the best player in the draft. Yeah. Either you Saquon Barkley. You got Odell coming back from an injury. Yeah. I think Eli's getting more practice. Yeah. I think there's a lot to look up to, especially with that defense and adding Nate yeah. Soldier to the O line, which was a big problem last year. Yeah. Time. Emerson? Uh, I think the Cleveland Browns can really be a contender. They've got some really big hitters like Landry. Uh, Tyrod Taylor and Carlos Hyde and with them I think that their offense got just got a whole lot stronger and hopefully they can contend for the Super Bowl. Yeah I can I can definitely agree Tyrod Taylor, Jarvis Landry and Carlos Hyde had, had really good seasons last year. Uh, uh, Tyrod Taylor did not have an o- he had an okay season it was not his best season but I think that uh, having Baker Mayfield the first round pick of the draft um, behind him, he'll be able to, like, the other team will have big an offensive contender. Um, but I think that another sleeper team that no one really noticed was bad was the 49ers because I think that since they picked up Jimmy G, they real, they and he won the last five games, I think they thought that they were good. Yeah, I mean, he got the last five wins. I said something about a quarterback. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to move on to uh, season-ending injuries and pe- the, the people coming back, and who do you think who will be the best? So, Jack, so that's all. Um, I'm going to say Carson Wentz. Yeah. And the reason why is I know he tore his ACL, but it didn't seem like it was the worst kind of ACL injury. When, Desha- when you remember seeing Deshaun Watson, it was yeah. a non-contact injury. It was a, maybe a little bit worse. I think he's really getting stronger. I mean, he's 6'5". Yeah. And I think he's getting really strong. He's getting more power. I think he'll be able to come back and really play for the Eagles and do very well as their quarterback if they don't have Nick Foles starting because this yeah. Eagles quarterback situation is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, Emerson? Uh, I think that J.J. Watt coming back from his broken leg will be huge for the Texans. He's a superstar, and he's proved that already. Hopefully the Texans can do better with him in the team. Yeah, I'm also going to say another Texan, and that is Deshaun Watson. He had a breakout rookie season. Even though he only played six games, he really helped the Texans. And even though he has had two ACL injuries, one when he was in college and uh, last season on a non-contact practice injury, I really think that he will be able to come back strong because he had a very big rookie year, as I already said. And I I think that he'll be able to throw to one of the top five wide receivers in the NFL, like uh, DeAndre Hopkins. And Will Fuller's not a top five receiver, but he's good. And I and I really think that their team will be able to really, like, succeed yes. on and offense and defense. The thing about Deshaun Watson that, like, I think the only thing I have about that is he only played six games. Yeah. So I think we know – and he played very well in those six games. But six games, you can't yeah. really judge a player – that much, but I think because he played very well in the six games, we can get an idea that he'll come back strong and be able to produce. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, for double J, the double J and an E, I'm Joe Lawn, Jackson Walton.